Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Yes, today we are going to be doing our makeup. Oh my goodness me, it's absolutely stunning. Yes, that's happening. Yeah! Welcome, welcome, welcome to the The Juno Show. When and a welcome to the The Juno Show. When and a welcome to the Juno Show. When and a welcome to the Juno Show. <laughs> yes, that's happening. Excuse me, can you be quiet? Thank you very much. I'm doing my makeup for the children. Yes, that is happening. Hello, yes, I'm back again with another makeup video. I haven't done a makeup video in ages, as you may have noticed. And that's because I've been a very busy girl. <laughs> also, I'm doing this video with my teeth in. So if I lisp, don't laugh because it's not funny. No. So we're going to be doing our makeup, yes. And I thought it would be a good time to do my makeup because, um, Lots of people like to dress up as me for Halloween. So I thought this would be a good way for people to know how to do me for Halloween. So I'm here, have a cup of tea, get yourself absolutely gorgeous and get ready for the show. Also, yes, I am wearing a Trix Mattel dress. She gifted this to me because um, I was feeling the rodeo fantasy. Yes, I know the hair does not go with it because I'm currently got my rollers in, but isn't this absolutely fabulous? And it has musical notes all up the arms. Very, very gorgeous. And it matches my complexion very gorgeously. Anyway, before we start, my darlings, I must remove my sunglasses. Look at that little pudding face. So, as you can see, my darlings, I am currently have no makeup on whatsoever. First thing we do is I don't use any primers or moisturizers anymore. Um, I used to use Nivea moisturizer before I put my makeup on, but now I don't use any moisturizer because my makeup falls off. Regardless of what primer or, or moisturizer I've used, my makeup falls off. So I don't use primer anymore. I use nothing. I just go straight on with the grease paint. We need to make sure that my skin is smooth and there's no peach fuzz anywhere because that gets in my powder sometimes. Oh, gorgeous and smooth. Oh, beautiful. Now, some people leave the hair on or leave it fuzzy and whatnot and I think that's absolutely gorgeous but for me personally I like to have a very smooth face yes I do and I know I look like chicken run with these teeth in so the first thing we're going to do my darlings is we're going to contour yes we're going to contour um, and some things that I've been contouring with recently are sugar pill and these two mixed together I don't know what their names are do they have names? I think they do, but I have already put them in the palette, so I can't, I don't know what their names are. But this is a purpley blue, and it's very gorgeous for shadowing. And we're just gonna lightly get under the cheekbone. You see what I'm doing? Now usually I go into the hairline, but today I'm doing an apple cheek. So I don't go into the hairline, I just go under the apple of the cheek. And then what I like to do is, no, oh my god, don't look. Don't look at my hair underneath, how very dare you. Oh yes. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> Wait! Nobody look. Right, nobody look. My hair's falling off. Wait. Ow! It's a perfect day. Everything has gone my way. Contouring under the chin, as usual, people. Yes, that's happening. I'm a lot more precise with my eyes, and I put a lot more eyeliner on than I used to. So, that's going to be interesting to see, isn't it? Or incredibly boring. And my favourite blush, as you all know, is the Trixie Cosmetics um, Summer of Love blush palette. It's my favourite and I use it in drag all the time um, because the mixture of these two blushes together is absolutely gorgeous. And then also the shimmery um, blush is gorgeous to put a topper on on your cheeks. It's gorgeous. So we're just going to go all in with all of it it's like this and then knock it off and then just gently rouge the cheeks, my darlings. Rouge them gorgeously. This is Judith Louise. And sometimes I like to um, 
test makeup products on her first because, you know, you never know what things are going to do to your face. Yes, Judith Louise. Judith Louise has been doing shows with me a lot recently, so uh, she is a bit... She's looking a bit pasty and she needs a bit of colour in her face. So we're using a bit of the Trixie Cosmetics blush and we're just gonna like slowly dab that on her cheek. Can you see what's happening there? Oh my goodness me. Oh my god. And then you just bang off the excess and then look at that. Oh my goodness me. Judith, you look absolutely stunning. Judith is coming on tour with me around the world, which by the way, you can get your tickets for the tour. I styled her hair all by myself. No, this is not a James Manfield wig. This is a Juno Birch wig. Anyway, Judith, go away and, and we will see you later. Look at that, people. And we're gonna, we're gonna go on the nose as well. We love a bit of blush on the nose. Oh, she's glistening. I'm just putting a bit on the chin as well. Now, Trixie Cosmetics are one of my favorite brands. And not because Trixie's my friend, and not because um, the makeup is such good quality, because it is, it's very good for blending, but because the branding is just so me. And I just, it's just me all over, and I absolutely love it. There is a new palette. I think this is the second newest one. It actually matches my outfit. I actually look like Bottle Blonde. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, and they have these gorgeous purple colours. Look, oh my goodness me. Purple shampoo and I got bangs. So we're going to use them today, people. Yes, we are. My brows, I always used Anastasia Bethley Hills Cosmetics. God, this is a mouthful, isn't it? Um, eyebrow pencil, and I don't know how much they are, but um, I don't think they're too expensive. Um, but they are, look at the wheelie little thing like this. I just start from my little bump here, and I just rest my hand on the face and drop down. Very easy, very, very easy. And then on the other side, anyway, shut up! Excuse me! Judith, be quiet! You stupid little bitch! I'm just cleaning up the creases and, 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 and blending the wet bits on my eyelids so that they don't go all funny when I start marking out my creases. Day, everything has gone my way. So, as you may know, I don't clean my brushes and I don't clean anything. I'm a lazy f***ing bitch. So we are taking the I Got Bangs, tap, 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 and we are going to just mark out the, 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 the eye shape. Oh my god, wait, stop! I totally forgot something very, very important, people. Ben Nye Super White. Yes, that's happening. We are Ben Nye Super Whiting our face. So, if you want to achieve this gorgeous and stunning lavender look and all the smoothness, I suggest using TV Paint Stick White Krylon mixed with um, grease paint. You can find grease paint anywhere. It doesn't matter what kind of grease paint it is. In purples, blues, whatever colour you want to. And then just pastelise it with the Krylon TV paint stick. Anyway, we're going to cut our jaws in. Are you ready, people? Sorry, excuse me, I'm just shifting my scalp. Oh my goodness me! There's something really bloody satisfying about cutting into the jawline. Under the eyes, because that is where we want the, um the I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't even know what I'm saying. Look at that, people. Oh my God. Right, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like blend off this white powder because we don't want it too much, do we? Right, so I like to go all the way up here to the eyelid, like so. Oh my goodness me. The pigment, the pigment, Miss Trixie, the pigments. So we've marked out where we are putting our eyelids. Very, very gorgeous. Now, the longer I've been doing drag, the higher and higher my lids get. Um, usually if I'm doing something with camera, I do quite small a lid. But if I'm doing something with stage, I paint really, really big lids. Um, because I, people need to see me from the cheat seats. Right, here we go, people. Yes, this is happening. Right, so we're just gonna take some foundation and mark out where the eyelid is going. Halloween is my favorite time of year, and then Christmas is my worst time of year. But I'm allowed to hate Christmas because it's my birthday on Christmas Day. How very, very selfish, Jesus. Thank you, goodness me. Now it might look not an idea. <laughs> now it might not look that defined right now, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna blend. 
feel like I'm developing a stammer. Favourite brand of um, crease shimmers. Makeup or breakup. Absolutely gorgeous. Take this product on the brush very generously and pack it all on the eye. Oh my god, look how stunning that is. Look at the stunningness. <laughs> I love smiling with his teeth in. Welcome aboard, Glamazonian Airways, the queens of the sky. Oh, look at that, people. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay. Packing on the shimmer, pack on outside of the, the cut crease and um, the darkness. Yes. How are you doing today? Are you good? What have you been doing? What are you doing right now? So what we're going to do next is, people, we're taking this purple shampoo and we're going to really get in there and get all of that gorgeousness and tap, tap, tap. And we're going to use that to blend out the um, I, I Got Bangs colour. Also, if you're looking to do a purple look as well, Trixie Cosmetics also has a purple blush palette. How stunning is that? Moon Boots, Cyber Babe, and Hologram. How gorgeous is that? I should have used that to contour with, really. But it's a bit late now. I might use that next time. I don't know why I'm shouting. Why am I shouting? Excuse me, Linda. Thank you. I'm really annoyed that I started the video without any earrings on. These are made by Girl1000 on Instagram. Um, and these are lovely purple cow print it hoop earrings. I have actually been using uh, a pot of eyeliner and it's not f***ing here. Where the f*** is it? What the hell? Lost the eyeliner. Sorry about that people, I lost my eyeliner and I had a bit of a hissy fit. We're going back in with the Bottle Blonde palette and we're gonna take the white, brush that over the eyebrow. Oh my, oh my God! That's not, this is no foundation, people. This is, this is eyeshadow. So, cause this is so white, I kind of want to use it under my eyes, like just to, just to really like highlight my under eyes. I'm actually going to go down the bridge of the nose as well. It's a very old eyeliner pen, but it doesn't have any eyeliner in it. It just has a bit of black grease paint and a bit of eyeshadow, and it's dried. So, and what it does is if you press really hard, you get like a nice black line. Look at that. I've gone too low. Shit. Now I'm using Lash Lift from the Bottle Blonde palette, and I'm just using the black to slightly darken that line that crosses between my crease and my brow bone. Ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, it is time for the eyeliner. Yes, that's happening. Right, so you know I always use pens. I always use eyeliner pens, but lately I've been using Inglot gel, and it is the blackest eyeliner I have ever seen in my entire life. Right, and we're gonna take the angle brush, which is from Morph, and we're gonna just pat that onto the lid. So what I do is, I do a big chunky wing. Right, so something I always struggle with is to get the wings even. Oh my God. Right, so I've made a bit of a mess with the wings. <laughs> so the eyeliner that I have been using lately to neaten everything up, it's the Kat Von D Tattoo Eyeliner. So you just gotta be careful if you have watery eyes. Right, see, we're neatening it up now. Oh my goodness, mate. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a little bit in the corners. There she is, there she is. Right, next. I'm gonna fix this one now, because this is an absolute pigsty. Also, next year, when I come to New York, I have five days off before the, the US tour starts in New York. If you have any good suggestions for things that I could do in New York for five days, let me know. Because maybe I could do something fun. I've never been to New York. Apparently it smells um, 
and I can't wait to smell it. Um, mascara going on, people. Yes, I'm into mascara time. Mascara time, mascara time. We're using a big, chunky Kat Von D mascara. Oh no, my eyes watering, people. Oh my goodness me, call the fire brigade. We're going to give Judith Louise a little bit. Oh my, Judith Louise, my darling. Oh my goodness me. Look at, the, can you see? Look at the difference in that. Oh my goodness me. Oh, stunning. Look at that. Oh. She's ready for the ball, people. She's ready for the ball. Yes. And we're just going to go all it up into the corner. Now, usually I leave a gap here and I go off out. But this time, I'm actually dragging it down. And I'm doing a full eyeliner fantasy. Is I'm taking a bit of the sugar pill um, lavender, which is a slightly darker lavender. And I'm just going to blend this all out. It's absolutely stunningly. This is a good Halloween face. Tina! Bring me the axe! Yes, I would win in the acting challenges of RuPaul's Drag Race. I'm gonna put eyeliner on the bottom. And I don't usually do that, but today, that is going to happen. And I'm actually going inside the eye. When you get to the middle of your eye, in the cornea bits, start to go inside the wet slither and really just layer that on inside the eye and join it up with the with the flick that you did before very 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 stunning okay so this is where my eyes start watering and the eye the eyeliner just drips all down my face i haven't got any recommendations with the eyelash glow because um I'm not very good at the eyelash glue situation. I use these little tiny squishy things. My friend Licorice Black uses um, a black glue, which I think is Weave Bond. I don't know, it might be. Lash number one going on, people. Yes, that's happening. Now, when I put my lashes on, I stick the, the end up high. Oh my goodness me. Now, I really like lashes that are quite short in the middle. And then when they come outward, they, they're the thicker and wider and up. I really like lashes like that. It's very, very gorgeous and stunning. I think these were from Duty Free in the Arndale Center and I stacked two pairs. But these bottom lashes, people, yes, we're going for a bottom lash. Oh my goodness, May. Um, are from What A Drag UK. Can we just appreciate the stunningness that is May? Can you see how much difference bottom lashes make, people? Oh my goodness gracious me. I'm actually going to do something different for a change. I'm going to use a purple lipstick, because I usually use pinks, and I, I really, really like um, beigey pinks. Very natural colours for lips. This lipstick, everybody, is a matte um, liquid lipstick from Cult Candy Cosmetics. We're going to overdraw all the way up here, people. Yes, that's happening. With the same eyeliner pen that we used to do our eyebrows, we're going to dip it in the purple lipstick and we're going to just dab those freckles all around. We're going to do another layer of this purple now, people. Oh my god, this purple <laughs> lip fantasy. I'm loving it. Oh, I look like I've been out in the cold. This would be a good winter lip. This is Keepsake by Sugar Pill. And I'm mixing it with this purple from Cult Candy Cosmetics. I haven't done this in a while. Putting on a lovely acrylic paint, as we always do. Acrylic paint, yes, it's happening. And we're gonna just pack that on the end of the nose like so and on the cheek like this I'm going to take my hair out of my rollers and I'm gonna come back with a really gorgeous wig that I have styled myself yes I will see you in a minute ta-da yes do you love this wig right this is a bubble cut people a bubble cut 
and I styled this myself from scratch, yes I did. Um, and I, it's two stacked wigs, zip tied together and then back combed and then absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I followed a um, tutorial, um, Wigs by Vanity, very amazing and iconic wig stylist and drag queen, absolutely amazing. And she does a video um, showing you how to do bubble cuts. And I absolutely love this. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm getting Dolly Parton vibes. Right, and that's the finished look, everybody. Let me put the glasses on. Got my glasses dirty. How very dare you? Yes, that's happening. Oh my goodness me. I hope you enjoyed watching me do my makeup. And um, I will see you next time. Yes, that's happening. Goodbye.